question 21. We've got a picture of a rectangle and it says the perimeter of this rectangle is 50 centimeters. So the total distance all the way around the outside, which is what the perimeter is, has to be 50. Calculate the length of the rectangle. Now we already know that the width is 7. So if the width on the left hand side is 7, obviously with a rectangle the, width, the two widths have to be the same, so the width on the right hand side is also 7. So these two lines are both 7, so I might as well write 7 on the right hand side as well. But what we don't know is the lengths. If we take the two widths, which are both 7, away from the total, which has to be 50, we will have what's left to split between the lengths. So, two of the widths make 14, because two 7s are 14. So the, and they are the width, the combined widths. Okay? So if I subtract 14 from my total, so 50 subtract 14, let's see what we've got left for the length. 0 take away 4 we can't do, so we borrow 1. 1 that I borrowed makes 10. 10 take away 4 is 6, and 4 take away 1 is 3. So we've got to have 36 centimetres left for the two lengths. But remember, this is two lengths, making the 36. And the two lengths must be equal. So which two numbers, which are both equal, make 36? Easiest way of doing that is just a half 36. Split 36 into 2, divide 36 by 2. So 36 divided by 2 is 18. Half of 36 is 18. So we've got 18 there for that length, 18 there for that length, and that should be the answer. So 18 is the answer that we need to write in. With this question, you should really perform a quick check, and you could do 18 plus 18 plus 7 plus 7. Let's quickly check that. 8 and 8 is 16, plus 7 is 23, plus 7 is 30. Put your 0 in, carry your 3. 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5. So that does indeed make 50. So we know that 18 is correct. Another check you could have done is to say, well, actually, with any rectangle, if you do the length plus the width, that gives you halfway round the shape. So 7 plus 18 is actually 25. So if halfway around the shape is 25, the, the other half must also be 25. So 25 and 25, again, makes 50. So a couple of ways there that you can check it. But the final answer is that the length of the rectangle must be 18.